From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Adam Heyman with your morning headlines this Wednesday. Happening today, the former Murray County teacher who admitted to kidnapping a student, spurring a nationwide manhunt, will learn his fate. Tad Cummins will appear in federal court this afternoon for a sentencing hearing. Currently, the government is pushing for a 30-year prison sentence in this case. Stick with News Channel 5 for live updates from the courtroom. A lot of people got a primetime shake last night in Bedford County. The U.S. Geological Survey recorded a 2.8 magnitude earthquake near Shelbyville just after 830 last night. This comes about a month after that 4.4 magnitude quake in Decatur. Now, multiple people reported they felt that quake last night, some of them as far away as Hendersonville. So new flights are headed to BNA. Allegiant Airlines announced new nonstop service from Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's going to start June 6th. And to celebrate, the company's offering fares on new routes as low as $49 each way. The new route will operate twice a week. Now let's go to Leland for a check on our forecast. Finally got the clouds out of here during the overnight hours, but that did allow for a little bit of freezing fog, patchy freezing fog in spots during the morning time. During the day, we get a partly cloudy day. Clouds begin to roll back in, though, during the afternoon, but enough sunlight to get us into the low 50s around the area. Showers coming in tomorrow, and then another set of rain, uh, sets of rain for the region on Saturday. With that, We'll watch it. Arctic air is on the way, and we could see some snow showers in the area Saturday night and Sunday morning.